last show called The 100. You play a character named Monty. What can you tell me about that? Uh, his full name is Monty Green. Uh, he's not a delinquent on the outside, okay. but he does get kicked out of space for growing and distributing some illegal substances up there. Kicked out of space. All right. So, out of space. so we know it's a, a futuristic show. Futuristic, uh, Earth destroyed by nuclear holocaust. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's per, per part of the course. And um, yeah, uh, remaining humans are sent up to a space station called the Ark, and they send in a hundred juvenile delinquents, of which Monty is one, to see if Earth is habitable again. Well, so what is he gonna find on Earth? Do we know? Perhaps some substances of his own that he can craft and deal out on Earth. Um, yeah, saving mankind. It's now in in, in the in his grasp. Your character on the he's a bit of a badass, right, or a hard ass. Well, he has to make some tough decisions. Um, I mean, he's the leader of the, the surviving members of the entire human race yeah. that has been on uh, third generation on the Ark, orbiting Earth for 97 years. Uh, so I, my, my grandfather and great-grandfather are born on this Ark, has never stepped foot on Earth. Uh, unbelievable, unimaginable responsibility. So this is an opportunity for me to to step into a character that I have never, ever had an opportunity to portray. What was it like filming it in space? In front of a green screen? It was, it's just, hey, it didn't hurt Will Smith. That's all I can say. The green screen works, man. Uh, it's exciting. I have worked with green screen before, um, but, you know, the writing is just really, really good. Jason Rothenberg has a very strong sense of all the characters. Uh, and like I said, I haven't been this excited about writing and characters and character dynamics since the beginning of Grey's Anatomy. So this is a big day for you. It is. Tell us about your characters on the 100, which we're really excited about, by the way. Oh, good. Yeah, we're, we're excited, too. Um, uh, my character, Clark, is sort of a, a natural-born leader. You know, she's been thrust into a situation where she needs to take the reins, and I don't think she quite realized that she was the leader until she was forced into the situation, but she really kicks ass after that, and it's, uh, it's, it's a really cool role. Both of our characters are just looking at the world almost through the eyes of a child because we've been locked up and imprisoned all of our lives until now where we're the ones being sent back to Earth because we're expendable, we're the guinea pigs, so they send us down to see if the Earth is inhabitable or not. Uh, my character's a bad girl with a chip on her shoulder that uh, in one way or another has been locked up for her whole life as well. And we're the only two women on Earth, which is a I bonus. Know, yeah. Yeah. You two are the only two, all right. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Maybe have some guys fighting over us, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Was it fun to sort of shoot like in a futuristic world? Amazing, yeah. I've never done anything sci-fi or futuristic before, so it's been like a really big thing for me, and I, Marie as well. Yeah, it's both of our first time working on a sci-fi project, and uh, we shot in beautiful British Columbia in the rainforest, uh, two hours amazing. outside of the city in the mountains. It was amazing. Beautiful.